Well, Duval County School, high school students have been in class, let's see, it's 8, 10, almost an hour now. And Mel's live from Rebald High School. Gosh, almost an hour and already you've been called to the principal's office? <laughs> yes, he called me in. He wanted to talk to me, make sure that I knew what I was doing. Uh, you know, here at Rebo High School, they are all about structure. You know, the principal is out here talking to the students, especially on the first day, but any given day, he can be found interacting with the students, making sure that they know exactly what to do. So here today, it definitely was no different. So I want to introduce Dr. Bostic here at Rebo High School. And today you said it, it was a little different, especially just because you didn't have as many students. Explain how things are going as far as the breakdown. Okay, with the breakdown, if you're a blue team, which identifies ninth and 12th graders, you should attend school face-to-face -face on Mondays and Thursdays. If you're on the, the gray team, you should attend school face-to-face -face on Tuesdays and Fridays. And then on the other days, they either work virtually and then everybody works virtually on Wednesday. And you said on this first day, you're noticing though that a lot of students didn't necessarily come to class. You think that was just maybe kind of nervous or trying to figure out what exactly they were supposed to do in this different time? I think it's a little bit of both. Um, some teach parents need to make sure that they um, have their correct email and focus or correct phone numbers. They may be a little confused on what day they should be here at John Rebo High School. So hopefully after today, a lot of those misconceptions will be cleared up. It did seem like it went really smooth. And I think, you know, maybe it was the limited number of students. You all also took temperatures, you asked questions, and then there's some things going on in the hallways to make sure that nothing gets too congested. Correct. Um, normally, if it was a normal day, things would still be laid out in structure because once students enter the campus here at John Rebo High School, they have two choices going to the cafeteria to eat breakfast or going to the auditorium. Once they go into the classroom, what we've done this year, we've actually got um, tape lined in the, in the middle of the hallway and reminding students to always walk to the right so we can keep that kind of social distance between students and, you know, one-way traffic. And so far, so good. The kids look so like they're So far, so good. Yeah. Yes, I, I noticed every student that got off the bus, they did, or got out their parents' car, they had a mask on, which is awesome. Yeah, all it's right. awesome. Well, a lot of folks praying for you all, you know, that everybody stays healthy and that the students do really make it here yes. and that the education process will continue. And that's really the goal, you know, for every single school that's starting. You know, one quick note that um, Dr. Bostic did point out is that the buses are virtually empty. And so that probably will change as things start to pick up. But at least on this first day, either parents are dropping off or the kids are driving. We're live at Rebo High School.